Yeah. Okay, Michael's okay, up. Here we go, Jenga. I'd, I'd forgotten when you yell Jenga. When it collapses. Or even if you do. Oh, Feel free to stand up and support yourself over that kind of stuff. Uh, green defense. Or foreign, or foreign affairs. Defense, foreign affairs, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Donovan, the uh, federal government, uh, the Harper government, seems to be poised to buy uh, about $30 billion worth of fighter jets. Is that something that you, uh, that you would agree, agree to? And, and uh, if not, what would you use that money for? All right, great question. Well, um, easy answer is no, we would not be, the Green Party's not the same in support of uh, purchasing fighter jets and the $30 billion. Um, one of the initiatives that we want to do is institute a healthy workplaces financial incentive for uh, uh, employers that are uh, creating a healthy workplace and uh, moving the military towards a uh, um, peacekeeping force as well. Uh, Sorry. Sorry. 30 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, now you got to countries in the world with public health care systems who have better incomes for the same amount of money. I think it's also important to realize that the provincial government is responsible for the delivery of health care. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so now we have Murray Todd from the Liberals to this first thing got. Is it? Spills the game's over. Well, I'm going to turn. I did it again. Oh, I did it again. Yes, it's another wild card. So but it was it was different from the one I picked last time. I hope. No, that's yeah. fine. Now yeah. you, yeah. Can, you okay. can ask any candidate a question on the topic of Kamloops. On Kamloops. Oh, okay. Um, um, Michael, when was the last time you were in the Kamloops Museum? Not sure. Uh, probably a couple of years ago, and uh, delighted to see the work that they're doing, particularly the work that uh, I think it's um, Bob Whiting is doing to sort of the ability of Kamloops to raise its own agriculture, raise its own food, uh, to make this area more sustainable. So I think they do great work there, and I yeah, haven't been there for a couple of years, Murray. It's a great place. Okay, so now we have Kathy McLeod, Conservative Party, to make her choice. Bill? She's out of a bottle, but it broke it. <laughs> okay, NDP, healthcare. So I think I would like to ask the NDP, um, you know, you consistently talk about protecting the Canada Health Act. What has your party actively done in terms of supporting the Canada Health Act other than um, talk? Well, in 2004, we worked with the, with the Liberal government, uh, uh, the minority government at the time, to ensure that we put a good health care accord in place, a uh, 10-year accord that we do not trust Stephen Harper to renegotiate for us in 2014. And we know that that has a good escalator clause in it, 6% a year for those every one of those 10 years, and we intend to continue that escalator 
clause into the future when we, when we sign the health care accord in 2014. Okay. Donovan Cabers from the Green, you get to make your first choice. And it's liberal defense. Yes. Murray, a question on defense. So a gentleman last night up in Clearwater pointed out to me that the contract that's currently going on regarding the fighter jets was actually a military contract that um, began when the Liberal government was still in power. I was wondering if you could comment on that. We um, were invited to participate in the original development and setting of the kind of the terms that were going to be used to develop this aircraft. And uh, that was, I, my understanding, is about as far as we went with it. Uh, now this, um, this airplane has been in development for better than five years. Its costs have skyrocketed out of, out of control. And it's not looking like it's going to do the job that we wanted to do for Canada. So Time. our position now is over. <laughs> <laughs> That is Christian Heritage, and, and the topic is, is healthcare. healthcare. If the Christian Heritage Party had uh, uh, a say in Parliament, would it exclude gays from the Canada Health Act? No, we would not. Every citizen of Canada is entitled to receive health care in an impartial way, and uh, I don't think it would be appropriate at all to exclude any particular group in society from, from receiving health care. We are, uh, it is our position that, uh, that, same, that uh, traditional marriage uh, should be restored. Um, I don't think that has a, a direct bearing on, on uh, health care. You have the NDP candidate, and the topic is taxes slash budget. This is a great question to ask the NDP government because they are known as caring about taxing, not caring about earning, and really their fiscal policies are very difficult to understand. So, Michael, could you follow the money um, when you? have disincentives for business to be in Canada, what happens? You know, uh, Kathy, thanks for referring to those as the NDP government. That's something actually that we're looking forward to. The, here's, here's the issue with taxes, though. It's that, uh, you know, in 2007, the Liberals and the Conservatives got together and they planned a five-year uh, tax uh, reduction strategy for uh, largest corporations. Uh, we're now, the plan now is next year to be down to about 15%, which is less than one-half of the rate of the American uh, corporate taxation. You say you want to be competitive, but... 34% would be competitive, 33% would be competitive. Thank you. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. An easy one. Oh, it's Conservatives on Defense? Conservatives on Defense, yes. Okay. Um, would you please justify the spending of $30 billion on F-35s? I'm absolutely pleased to talk about this F-35 issue. I think, first of all, we need to have the equipment for our military that's going to do the job. They can talk to the Allies, unlike the Liberals who sent our military into battle with green camouflage into a desert. This cost is actually over 20 years. We're not going to be spending money till 2016. It is going to be a great support. We don't want to repeat the mistake of the Liberals with the helicopters. And we're proud to support moving forward with what is going to be a very important Time. only Time. Thank you. Time. OK. Dr. Murray, <laughs> save us all. I thought you said this was going to go but two rounds. I know. <laughs> no. You guys are great. We had the municipal guys in here, and they didn't last one round. Just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> no shortage of Jenga advice here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, you, can you, can you remember just uh, to uh, take up any layer but the top? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, any layer but the top. Okay, well, it's the liberal law part, so I can ask anybody. Anybody a question unrelated to politics? Unrelated to politics, yes. 
Well, actually, I did have a question that I did want to ask Donovan, and it was about the ride yet. How much weight did you lose? How much weight did I lose? I haven't measured myself this morning, but um, I'm sure I burned a few calories. It was the first ride since uh, the winter time, so my legs. It was actually my, my butt getting used to the, the, the narrow seat, because yeah. the, the bike that I normally ride around Canada's on is a bit more comfortable with seat, so my legs were sore, but they're not as sore as I thought they would be today. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm already <laughs> looking for my, uh, my spot here. Oh, it's very wobbly up there. Jeremy, you're the pro. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy. That's what you should do. You can always use the second hand there if you want to pull that thing out. Yeah, it looks like you might have a cap. I don't know. Twisting around, they're it's all pinned. They're all they all look pretty solid, ain't they? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that one kind of got a little bit of relief. This would be just not a good idea. Maybe possibly that one. Here. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Wow. Do we really want this one because it's me on the wild card? Okay. That means you can ask anyone a question unrelated to politics. Okay. Well, um, I'll ask this of uh, of Murray. I know you're a, a, um, uh, a re retired, um, and I'll get it wrong, air traffic controller, That's right? right. Yep. Do you also fly? I'm yeah, I'm so curious about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you tell us a bit about that? Um, I was, uh, I've had a pilot's license since I was uh, 16. I, uh, back in, uh, in earlier days, uh, the government, in fact, paid people to take their pilot's license. Mm -hmm. I had a pilot's license before I had a driver's license. And then I went into the Air Force for a short time, and I was uh, qualified as a flying instructor. And uh, then I walked into, an, a, a, on a terrible day, hot day in, autumn, in Ontario, I walked into a, a um, air traffic control facility. It was all nice and air conditioned. I thought, oh, that's what I'm going to It's got to be really easier good. than the steaming hot concrete. Oh, God, it was terrible that day. Okay. solution for the homelessness problem in Canada's? Uh, good, uh, good question. The, um, and well placed. The, um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, over the last uh, number of years, the community has really uh, pulled together well on this issue of, uh, of homelessness. There are some very good initiatives in place. The Homelessness Action uh, Plan with uh, Tanji Jin Shorik and Doug uh, Sage at uh, uh, Canada Mental Health. You know, all great people, all working hard. Uh, but what's really missing is money for new housing, for uh, social housing, Time. and make notes good. Thanks. You know what? I never thought it was gonna be back. <laughs> it was, uh, I thought it was gonna go in the last. This one's a dangerous one. Are you saying that because you want it to fall? <laughs> I just have to do the quick.